Chris? Hello? Oh, hey, um... Yeah, I would like to know, how do you know the uh, guy that is a real? Well, have you demonstrated that he is? Well, I mean, Romans chapter 1, verse 20, it says... Captain Kirk said, what does God need with a spaceship? Yeah. Quoting the Bible's not going to get you anywhere. Quoting, quoting the Bible's not going to get... Quoting the Bible is not going to get you anywhere because you haven't demonstrated why anybody should consider the Bible to be true or authoritative. Why should I care what Romans says? It was written by prob probably Paul. Why do I care what it says? Why do you get so offended? I'm not offended. I'm asking no. a question. See, because we had this conversation a little while ago where the guy assumed that atheism was this assertion that God doesn't exist, and then with a couple minutes left in the show, we get you calling in to say, how do you know God isn't real? When I've already explained that that's not what atheists are asserting. And then when I ask you, or when, when Jen asks you to clarify it, you go start quoting Bible verses as if that should carry any weight. I'm asking, why should that carry any weight? What difference does it make what the Bible says? Because true. How do you know? How do you know? Because I just do. It's my faith. You, you just, okay. Okay. So, so how, you how, do you know the, how do you know the Quran isn't? Is that just by faith too? It's not based on a God, it's based on... It's based on the same God you worship. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It absolutely yeah, it is. is. Have you read... Do you not know the story of Isaac and Ishmael? You haven't read your Bible, have you? That's the problem. Go go read it and you'll, you'll free yourself. Go read it yeah. and actually study. Uh, because those well, the three... How, how do we all happen to... Who said we Who did? Said we did. I came from my parents. I came from my parents. I'm, yeah. I'm assuming well, that you probably did. And the universe. We know how the Earth formed. It's part of. Well, we have a really good idea as a uh, part of the accretion disk uh, from when the sun was formed. And and how was the sun born? The sun was formed by gravity acting on particles. You can go. Yeah, you can yeah. go study yeah, all of this in science mean, classrooms. There could have just been nothing at all. There could didn't have, there, there didn't have to be. Could a there get? There didn't have to be Earth. There didn't have to be a moon. Correct. There didn't have to be yeah, a star. Correct. Correct. You know, so, so that's just proving my point. No, it's no, not it proving your point. It's proving your it's ignorance been, yes, of basic you. science. I think y'all are ignorant because uh, we didn't. Have Why? Because to, we, we didn't didn't understand the science and you don't. I agree with you. We didn't have to be here at all. Yeah. All right then. I agree, we didn't have to be here. Fortunately, the laws of the universe were such that physics prompted things to happen in such a way that we are the current state of life on this planet. Yeah, but what's physics? Wow. Physics. Wow. Physics. Okay. Uh, it doesn't have to be any of that. Just Wikipedia. I yeah. Mean, it's got pick up a dictionary. You know, it's study. Got study. It's got oh, it's God. Physics is God. How do you know it's God? Why? Why? So, because there just has to. No. That's, that's not an answer. Because there just has to is not an answer. Where were That is an argument from ignorance. It's really, you're saying, because I can't think, because you're saying, because I can't think of any it's better the answer. Truth. You're saying, because I can't think of truth? any better answer. Well, how do you know I, the physics is true? Because it's demonstrable. Yeah. This is going to drop. If I let go of it, I won't because I don't want to break it. It's going to drop at 9.8 meters per second squared. Shut the hell up. <laughs> we know physics is true because it is. Because it's demonstrable. Because it is investigatable by science. And because the results are consistent. And it can be reproduced by anybody. And we know that there's a pretty good chance, though not absolutely, that we'll be back again next week. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in to the short show. We'll be back at 4.30 next week. Bye-bye. And Chris knows physics is true, too.